Hello everyone, welcome back, I'm Gaming Critter, the most delicious critter of them all, and today we're going to take a look at Gala Sethia and Gala Behemoth. Both appear on the Gala Tregalia, which is available to celebrate the third anniversary of Tregalia Lost. Usually on banners, we start out with the featured unit, but this time we will start with a dragon. You will see why when we talk about Sethia. Gala Behemoth is a shadow dragon and he's kinda insane. Behemoth's dragon skill, Cataclysm Beam, has a unique gauge on the skill with three possible bars. This bar can be filled by using standard attacks or dragon strikes. Dragon strikes were introduced with Gala Beast Walk and are basically force strikes for dragons. Depending on how many of the bars are filled, the effects for the skill change. With only one bar, the attack deals 5 hits of 410% damage each. This means it deals 2050% damage without any additional effects on the base level. With two bars, it deals 6 hits of 516%, totaling up to 3096% damage. It also grants a team defense amp. With three bars? Oh boy, he is a nuke. He deals 9 hits of 540% damage each, which means it can deal 4860% damage. It also grants a team defense amp and a team strength amp. Now let's take a look at his abilities. At max unbind, he grants a shadow unit a 120% strength increase. This is absolutely insane. His second ability is Almighty Rage. It fills 50% of the dragon gauge at the start of the fight and basically doubles the shapeshift time by extending it by 100%. The amount of dragon energy needed to shapeshift will be doubled though. The skill then talks about the Dragon Strike, which deals damage to multiple targets and enemies near those targets, which kinda makes it sound like it's some kinda Ancient Ray type skill. We do not have the damage mods for this Dragon Strike as of right now, but judging by Gala Beast Walk, it might be beefy. An interesting addition to the skill is that the maximum amount of Dragon Energy that can be filled by abilities at the start of a quest will be limited to 50%. For the entire team, if a single person has Bahamut equipped, raids are excluded from this. Gala Bahamuth seems to be a pretty heavy hitting dragon and will probably be preferred on a lot if not all shadow units in the game. And I gotta be honest, I saw his kit and my mind instantly went to this is going to be insane on Durant. So yeah, I kinda want this bad boy to slap him on my wolf boy. The Cataclysm Beam could be difficult to bring to the highest level, but even at like 2 bars it's still pretty strong. This feels worthy of an Anniversary Dragon and it's a well deserved kit for one of the strongest entities in Dragaea Lost. Oh and before I forget it, here's some leaked footage that actually already shows Gala Bahamuth's Cataclysm skill. Let's talk about our new favorite emo girl next. Gala Sethia is a shadow blade and an extremely unique character when it comes to her kit. You will see why very soon. Her first skill, Genesis Circlet, which by the way is a nice touch because Yun's attacks also have Circlet in them, deals 5 hits of 394% damage, rounding up at 1970% damage in total if all hits connect. During the skill, she will be immune to knockback and damage taken will be reduced by 30%. This is her shareable skill, by the way, with a skill cost of 4. The skill gauge for Genesis Circlet will fill automatically, but can also be filled by Sephia's standard attacks. The amount of time it takes to fill up the skill increases each time you use it, up to 2 times per quest. Abilities that increase skill gauge fill rate do not affect this. Her second skill is… well, it doesn't exist. Sethia only has Genesis Circlet as her base skill, but of course you can still use shared skills with her. Sethia has the standard blade co-ability which increases strength by 10%. Her chain co-ability increases light resistance by 6%, when there is an active team critical damage amp. Yes, you heard right, we are getting critical damage amps with Gala Sephia. Her first ability is basically what makes Gala Sephia so interesting, aside from the fact that she has only a single skill. With the Genesis Pact Bearer ability, Sephia gains a summoning gauge, which replaces the shapeshift button with the summon button. When pressed, Sephia summons Bahamut. 
It's basically like with the Persona characters. You can continue attacking the enemies while Behemoth wrecks havoc. Certain attacks by Zephyr will be powered up while Bahamut is on the field. After the dragon has attacked a set number of times, he will use Cataclysm Beam. We don't know which level of his dragon skill he will use, but if he actually uses level 3 when summoned, this would be insane. The power of his auto attacks and his skill are identical to his Gala form, so it's not like Zephyr summons a weakened version. When Bahamut is not summoned, certain auto attacks will fill the summoning gauge, but Zephyr's unique kit doesn't end here. <laughs> oh no! When Zephyr dodges an attack during a combo, she will do an additional attack while dodging and then you're actually able to continue your combo chain. If you dodge right again after using this special dodge, it will be a normal one though. Oh, and if you dodge an attack, like a red marker for example, Zephyr also deals damage to surrounding enemies. This will only activate once per dodge. The ability text also explicitly mentions that Gala Zephyr will not unlock a second skill. Zephyr is resistant to paralyzes and... Uh, she's blind resistant? Well, tell that to the canon of the story. Or I guess it's because if you're blind, you can't be blighted anymore? I don't know. Anyway, her third ability is pretty pock schnabby because it introduces critical damage amps. Zephyr's standard combo seems to be pretty long or pretty fast or both because she gets a critical damage amp on her fifth and her ninth attack during her standard attack combo. The maximum team amp level is 1, which increases critical damage by 20%. What's pretty insane about this is that she does not have a cooldown on this. So yeah, at the time of making this we do not have the mods for Zephyr's auto attacks and I would have loved to wait with this video until we have it, but I simply don't have the time tomorrow because I'm moving. I am pretty sure her auto attacks will hit pretty hard and having Bahamoth on the field will just increase that damage. But aside her potential mods, I gotta say, I, I love this kit on paper. It's something pretty new and it's awesome that Zygames is trying something completely different. I also want to point out that Gala Bahamuth will be amazing as an equipped dragon on Zephyr since she is all about auto attacks and she will strongly benefit from the 120% strength buff. So I'm really sure she's going to be worth your Wormite, but... Please, do me a favor and wait out the free summons, you impatient gambling addicts. Please wait until the end of the banner before you spend your resources. <sighs> anyway, I will post additional infos in the comments of this video once we get them, if I'm totally off here. Also featured on the banner are the following dragons. Gala Mars, Gala Beast Volk, Gala Thor and Gala Cat Seed. I made videos on all of them in the past, so check them out if you want to know more about them. Just a quick thought about them though, while Mars and Vogue are really good in all types of content, Thor and Ketseeth are only good outside of Curse of Nihility content. And well, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like and subscribe for more content from yours truly. Tell me your thoughts about this banner in the comments below and join our Discord to discuss the new units further or to simply brag about your summons. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!